Christian Pulisic set for Chelsea meeting to discuss future. Chelsea forward Christian Pulisic will have a meeting with the club to discuss his future, even if he wishes to stay at the club, according to reports. The American has had a mixed season, spending several weeks on the sideline at a time before being handed a run of matches. As per Fabrizio Romano, Pulisic will meet with Chelsea to discuss his future. This meeting will happen even if the American wishes to remain at Stamford Bridge. It has previously been reported that Pulisic could be one of the attacking players to depart this summer as Hakim Ziyech, Callum Hudson-Odoi and Timo Werner could also head for exits. Chelsea boss Thomas Tuchel previously opened up on Pulisic's struggles this season stating, Puli struggled a little since international break where he had incredible amount of journey and time zones. I felt he struggled a little bit energy-wise on and off the pitch, it's sometimes like this. With the World Cup coming up at the back end of the year, Pulisic will be looking for more regular minutes and this could see him depart the club as he looks to meet with Chelsea. Todd Burley's consortium are set to be officially unveiled as the new owners of the club as they will sit down with several players to discuss their futures. It remains to be seen as to what the future holds for the winger as he awaits talks with the new ownership. Ben Chilwell delivers emotional response to Chelsea return. Ben Chilwell has delivered an emotional response regarding his return to action for Chelsea after featuring as a late substitute on the final match of the Premier League season, against Watford. The wing-back hasn't featured for the Blues since November's 4-0 victory over Juventus in the Champions League group stages, being withdrawn due to a long-term ACL injury. Speaking on his return to action, via Chelsea's fifth stand-up, Chilwell discussed his return to first-team action. The defender was not expected to feature towards the end of the season as he targeted his return to action for next season but he was selected on the bench against Watford on Sunday. The 25-year-old replaced Mason Mount towards the end of the match, being given five minutes as he returned to action in front of the Chelsea crowd. When asked about his return, Chilwell said, This means everything. It's the moment that's driven me the last four, five months. This is the moment, getting on that pitch motivated me to work so hard in the gym. The defender, who was one of Chelsea's best players before his injury, continued to thank his family, the staff and his teammates as he spoke after his return. I have got to thank my family, they've been there the whole time with me. The staff, the boys have been brilliant with me. The support from everyone has been amazing. That's pushed me so much to have such a good recovery and feel so good, he concluded. Chilwell will be hoping to overcome the injury and play a key role for the Blues next season as they look to close the gap to Manchester City and Liverpool in the Premier League. Hakim Ziyech could leave Chelsea in summer transfer window. Hakim Ziyech could be granted a transfer away from Chelsea in the summer, according to reports. The Moroccan has seen inconsistency in game time this season, which could result in a departure from the club. According to Fabrizio Romano, via court offside, the Blues forward is considered as another player with a chance to leave the club in the summer transfer window. This comes after it was reported that Christian Pulisic is set for a meeting with the Chelsea hierarchy to discuss his future. It is believed that Ziyech could also be on the move for similar reasons to his Chelsea teammate, as both have struggled for game time towards the back end of the season. Chelsea boss Thomas Tuchel has previously admitted that Ziyech's preferred role as a right winger does not exist in his current system. He admitted, we switched systems lately. If we play in a back four, a four, one, four, one, with a right winger position, this suits Hakim Ziyech very best. This position was not available from the start in the final so we took the tactical decision to play with the back three so did not leave us with the same position for Hakim so he came from the bench. The German has since admitted that he has no plans to switch his system for next season, and this could see the Moroccan depart in the summer for more regular first team football. It remains to be seen as to what the future holds for Ziyech and Chelsea but it would be no surprise if he searches for a new club during the summer months. Kai Havertz delivers verdict on, very tough, Chelsea season. Kai Havertz has delivered his verdict on Chelsea's season following the Blues final day victory against Watford, in which he scored. The German registered 14 goals and 6 assists in all competitions, featuring 47 times for Thomas Tuchel's men. Taking to Twitter after the match, Havertz gave his thoughts on the season and thanked Chelsea fans for their support. He wrote, End to challenging and very tough season. We learnt a lot and as a team in finals and the league fought together. Thank you for all the support this season home and away. Chelsea made it to both the FA Cup and Carabao Cup final but ultimately fell to defeat at the hands of Liverpool in both. 
On both occasions Tuchel's side could not beat the Reds on penalties as they bowed out at the final stage of both tournaments, extending an unwanted record of domestic final losses. He has previously outlined his plans for next season as he eyes a perfect campaign with Chelsea. This year has been better for me but it's not the perfect year, I hope I do that next year, he said. I think we are disappointed. We won the Club World Cup, in the Carabao final and now in the FA Cup final. It was not a bad season at all. Maybe in October everyone said we are the favourites to win the league. Of course it's tough. We are disappointed but we know there are some reasons we could not make it in the race for the title. Hopefully we can win another title with the FA Cup. Jorginho's transfer to Juventus will depend on Chelsea's asking price. The potential transfer of Chelsea midfielder Jorginho to Juventus will depend on the club's valuation of the Italian, according to reports. The old lady have been linked heavily with a move for the midfield maestro ahead of the summer window. However, as per Fabrizio Romano, the transfer will depend on Chelsea as Juventus have no intention of paying a large fee for Jorginho. The 30-year-old is out of contract in 2023, with the Italian side prepared to wait to tempt him to Serie A on a free transfer next season. Romano continues to state that there are still no advanced talks whilst Chelsea are in the process of being taken over but these talks will depend on the future of the club. Jorginho's agent, Joao Santos, has recently admitted that his priority is to renew his contract at Chelsea despite interest from Italy. Santos said, he still has a year of contract with the Blues, the renewal is the priority. At the moment, however, Chelsea cannot operate in the market due to the issues arising from Abramovich's sale, so we will meet again with the club to discuss it. Jorginho has spent six or seven years of high-level football. He also plays in the Premier League, which is certainly a more important championship than the Italian one. Armando Broja confirms Chelsea return in emotional letter to Southampton fans. Chelsea loney Armando Broja has all but confirmed his return to Stamford Bridge as he penned an emotional letter to Southampton fans at the expiry of his loan move. The Albanian has had an impressive debut season in the Premier League, netting six goals in 32 appearances in the competition and nine in 38 games in all competitions. Taking to Instagram, Broja penned a message to Southampton fans as he prepares to return to Chelsea for pre-season. He wrote, I just want to start off by saying what a great season for me and my family personally. A season full of ups and downs but no matter what I had family and amazing people to help me get through it. I also want to say a massive thank you to Southampton and the amazing fans for allowing me and having the belief in me to showcase what I can do. I appreciate all the support and love you showed me and the team. Finally, I want to say thank you so much to the players you guys taught me so much this year. I loved every minute with you lads it was honestly something special to me. You have not only become brothers to me but also family. I will miss you guys. Whilst the Saints have been open in their desire to keep the Albanian for another season at least, it is believed that Thomas Tuchel is willing to give him an opportunity to shine in pre-season and earn his place in the Chelsea squad. That is on just new today. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye and see you by tomorrow news.